Hi there, we're on day 244 up through the Bible in one year. Today we're doing Ezekiel 18 and 19. Working our way up to 48, which will be sometime in the middle of September. <clears throat> Ezekiel is a large book. So let's clean my glasses so I can see. All right. Here we go. Individual retribution. The word of the Lord came to me again. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine. The soul of the sins shall die. Yeah. And they could kill us all. <clears throat> if a man is righteous and does what is lawful and right, if he does not eat upon the mountains or lift his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defile a neighbor's wife or approach a woman in her time of impurity, does not oppress anyone but restores to the debtor his pledge, commits no robbery, gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with the garment, does not lend any at any interest or take any increase, withholds his hand from iniquity, executes true justice between man and man, walks in my statutes, and is careful to observe my ordinance that he is righteous, he surely shall live, says the Lord God. They can't do that. <clears throat> if he begets a son who is a robber, a shedder of blood, who does who does none of these duties, but eats upon the mountains and defiles the neighbor's wife, oppresses the poor and needy, and commits robbery, and does not restore the the pledge, lifts up his eyes to the idols, and commits abomination, lends at interest, and takes it increase shall he then live he shall not live he has done all these abominable things he shall surely die his blood shall be upon himself okay but if a man begets a son who sees all the sins which his father has done and fears and does and does not do likewise who does not eat upon the mountains and lift his eyes to the idols in the house of Israel and does not defile his neighbor's wife does not does not wrong anyone expects no pledge commits no robbery but gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with a garment, withholds his hand from iniquity, takes no interest or increase, observes my earnestness, and walks in my statutes. He shall not die for his father's iniquity. He shall surely live. As for his father, because he practiced extortion, robbed his brother, and did what was not good among his people, behold, he shall die for his iniquity. Yet you say, why should, why should not the son suffer for the iniquity of the father when the son has done what is lawful and right, and and has been careful to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live. <clears throat> the soul that sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. But if a wicked man turns away from all his sins he has committed, and keeps all my statutes, and does what is lawful and right, he shall surely live, and not he shall not die. None of the transgression which he has committed shall be remembered against him, for the righteousness which he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of, wick, of the wicked, says the Lord God, and not rather that he should turn away from his way and live? But when the, a righteous man turns away from his righteousness, commits iniquity, and does, not, and does the same abominable things that the wicked man does, shall he live? None of the righteous deeds which he has done shall be remembered, for the treachery of which he is guilty, and the sin he has committed, he shall die. Yeah. Yet you say the way of the Lord is, is not just. Here now, O Israel, O house of Israel, is my way not just? Is, is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity, he shall die for it. For the iniquity which he has committed, he shall die. Again, when a wicked man turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is lawful and right, he shall save his life. Because he considered and turned away from the transgression which he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet the house of Israel says, The way of the Lord is not just. O house of Israel, are my ways not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, says the Lord. Repent and turn from all your transgressions, lest iniquity be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed against me, and get yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone, says the Lord God. So turn and live. Okay. 
chapter 19 and you take up and you take up a lamentation for the prince princes of Israel and say colon, what a lioness was your mother among the lions she crouched in the midst of young lions rearing her whelps and she <clears throat> and she brought up one of her whelps and became a young lion he became a young lion he learned to catch prey he devoured men the nation sounded an alarm against him and he was taken in their pit and they brought him and they brought him with hooks to the land of egypt when she saw that saw that she was baffled that her hope was lost she took another another of her whelps and made him a young lion he prowled among the lions became a, a young lion and learned to catch prey he devoured men and, and he ravaged the strongholds and laid waste to their their cities and the land was appalled and all who were in it at the sound of his roaring then the nations set against him snares on every side they spread their net over him and he was taken into their pit with hooks they put him in a cage and brought him to the king of babylon they brought they they brought him into custody that his voice should no more be heard among the mountains of israel your mother was like a vine in a vineyard transplanted by the water fruitful and full of branches by reason of abundant water in the strongest its strongest stem became the ruler's scepter its tower it towered aloft among the thick bow boffs bows never could say that word it was seen it was seen in its height with the mass of its branches but the vine was plucked up in fury cast down to the ground the east wind dried it up its fruit was stripped off its stem was withered the fire consumed it now it now it is transplanted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty land and fire has gone out from its stem, has consumed its branches and fruits, so that there remains no strong stem, no scepter for a ruler. This is a lamentation, and has become a lamentation. So, there you go. That's 18 and 19. Tomorrow's more, 20 and 21. And it's just going to keep going and keep going. So, But we can get through these quickly. <clears throat> so, Ezekiel telling Israel from their Babylonian exile... All the stuff they did wrong. Will they listen? Who knows? We'll find out. Huh? Catch up on any you may have missed. You want to say you got the whole Bible in a year? And give us a like if you think about it. But until tomorrow, we'll keep going. See you then.